जय हिंद डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिस्टम मेनूज एंड नेविगेशन स्केप्स एज वी आर मोस्टली वर्किंग इन विंडोज बेस्ड इन्वायरमेंट एंड आइदर वी आर क्रिएटिंग एप्लीकेशन आइदर वी आर क्रिएटिंग एनी वेब पेज वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले आर इंफॉर्मेशन इन सच ए वे दैट यूजर शुड नॉट फेस any visual clutter so we have to present our information in the form of menus so that in uh, we we have to cover maximum information display in use of minimum space so that that's why this system in designing of system menus plays very crucial role in designing of the interface so in this lecture we are going to cover structure of menus and formatting of menus and kinds of graphical menus so first we will discuss what is what are the meaning of menus menus means we are going to display some information in the form of abbreviations some abbreviations are displayed if you click on that particular abbreviation the particular information will be displayed to you so system menus are categorized in various ways first category of the system menus is single menu single menu means no other menus will follow this is setting additional user choices so in single in single menus all the choices are displayed in a single screen that's user have to choose one of the particular options and there is no any confusion about the uh, another available information right so like the in first screen you can see okay uh, connect and other disconnect and info various options are available in a single screen and in second screen you see various options are available user may choose any one of the available options so these kind of menus are very simple and uh, useful for the any kind of user but the problem is that when the information is large then you can not display all the information in single menus right so it is uh, important and uh, use somewhere where information is less next category of the structure of menus is sequential and linear menus sequential linear menus are presented on series of screen in this kind of menu we have a series of screens suppose we choose a particular option in menu 1 then menu 2 will appear then if we choose something in menu 2 then menu 3 will be appear in the first window you can visualize this and in also in second window if you click on the particular tab that menu will, that menu will be open if you click on the second tab then second menu will be open all the things are sequentially and related so information is displayed one by one so this kind of menus are called sequential or linear menus and the third category of the menus are the simultaneous menus in simultaneous menus in instead of being presented on separate screen all menus options are available in simultaneously all options are available in single screen alternative 1 alternative 2 alternative 3 and alternative 4 <clears throat> so this is very very comfortable situation for the nav user he can or she can see all the menus in a single screen but uh, for the large number of information large number of, of menus you cannot present in a single screen that may create a problem you may use more and more windows space for the presenting of menus so all, all other information will be feel problem so this is not good choice for the large number of menus if you have limited number of menus then you can use simultaneously simultaneous menus and so all the menus in a single screen 
and next category of the menus are the hierarchical menus this is the most important category of the menu presentation so this is the very user friendly uh, as well as system friendly menu design when many relationships exist between menus alternatives and some menu options are only appropriate depending upon a previous menu the selection uh, a hierarchical structure is the best solution so if you see relationship between the various menus right then you may always use hierarchical menus suppose you user click in menu 1 and he may have option to go for menu 2 menu 3 and menu 4 and uh, from the menu 4 he also have the uh, option to go as for menu 7 and also for the menu 8 so all the options are open and uh, presentation of the menu can be done very useful utility based right so more information can be catered with the less amount of space right and less amount of confusion so this is the very important and most frequent frequently used menu structure of in windows next category of the menus of is the connected menus this menus gives you the full control over a navigation flow so this is the network of menus when we have hierarchical menus and we create network of hierarchical menus then it is called connected menus suppose you are creating a website and you are having a multiple options and you click any particular options and you want to go any other particular stream then you can easily go with the help of connected menus all the menus are connected with each other you can navigate from menu 1 to menu 6 menu 1 to menu 5 menu 1 to menu 8 and vice versa from each and every menu is uh, provide navigation to reach you in another available menus so this is called connected menus event trapping menus this is the very important and it's provide flexibility for the users right it's provide ever present background of control over the system's states and parameters while the user is working on the foreground tasks mainly serve three functions immediately change some parameters in the current environment uh, like uh, if you select some screen and right click on the screen then menu will be appear and you click on the bold then hold the content and hold the particular line will be shown and bold take user out of the current environment you can use something exit or something or spell check right and exit allow user to go to the new environment with the help of exit button right so event trapping menus are the very helpful suppose you have a web page and uh, you type something in the search bar and uh, when you click search button then the different screen will be open so this kind of uh, menus are called event trapping menus if you right click on the windows space then pop up menus will be appear and you can see easily copy cut paste options there and uh, you can use as per the your requirement any of the available menus so the, these kind of uh, menus are called event trapping menus so functions of menus <clears throat> so you, you we have learned that various categories of menus are are uh, created or suggested for the help of users for the most appropriate user centric create more most appropriate user centric environment we have to design a very very helping environment with the help of menu structure so that user can navigate from their appropriate requirement to fulfill their requirement and uh, they have not feel any trouble in the running of the system so functions of menu as a navigation to a new menu 
and execute an action or procedures displaying information or sometimes menus are used for input purpose. Suppose you click on the particular number or select something particular uh, given drop down menu that will be the input for the uh, <coughs> another function. <coughs> so, these are the functions menus, menus of function. Now, what content should be in the menus, right? So, menu content must provide the information to keep the user oriented. So, all the relevant information should have the meaningful words that how the menus are connected with each other. There should be flow in the menu. Menu title should be meaningful and uh, user must understand what is the purpose of that uh, menu. Choice description must be in range of there may be mnemonics, may be numeric or alphabetic listing. Now, the formatting of menus. Menus must have consistency. Menus must have displayed a frequently reference information in the uh, as a permanent display in the menu areas and occasional references may be on uh, should be shown uh, on the user demand right presentation should be obvious with unique and consistent structure there should be no ambiguity in menus how various uh, menus should be grouped together so this is the some do's and don'ts for grouping Create grouping of items that are logical, unique, meaningful and mutual exclusive. So, mutual exclusive menus should be grouped together to, to reduce visual clutter in the screen. Present no more than 6, 7 grouping on a screen. This is the important point. You must remember that it does not mean that you have flexibility of grouping. That means you have all the information grouped in a single menu. No. Only 6 to 7 subgrouping must be limited in a menu. Separate grouping created through either wider spacing or thin or ruled line. So, grouping elements should be separated with the a particular scheme so that the user must feel comfortable when they use the particular menu. <coughs> so, this, this is the uh, method of how the lines are used for separating the particular menus. So, line is various menus are there and uh, there is a line separator where you can understand the group and uh, next is the another menu. So, this is the various menus are grouped together and they are separated with the line. Phrasing the menu, menu title, main menu, sub menu, general menus and Menu choice description can be single compound or multiple words. Use task oriented, not data oriented wording. Keep remember, use task oriented wording should be used very carefully so that the user should not confuse with the menu titles, right? Some keyboard key accelerators must be provided to the expert users like control B, control I, control V, control C, control P. So, that provision must be done with the menu, right. Phrasing of the menus, next is the intent indicator. The, to cascade menus, there should be used a indicator that there is a cascading. Suppose you can see in the figure, we have used a triangle that shows the cascading menu. When we click on that particular uh, arrow, this particular menu will be open, right. Uh, if we be using windows indicator, then there will be ellipse symbols or parent size that. And when we using cascade indicator, that symbol will be used, right, that uh, arrow. Selecting menu choices. Initially, you should have to place cursor on that particular choice. 
or choices may be selected through pointer through keyboard or uh, selection execution or combining multiple techniques that are uh, already discussed in the, that provide default whenever possible as a bold text control v control v these symbols these abbreviation these accelerator must be common in all the application and all the any kind of web based environment available choices must be grayed out so that user must know that he are not allowed to uh, take uh, perform action that are listed in the menu right now we will discuss various kinds of graphical menus so first category is menu bar pull down menus cascading menus pop up menus and iconic menus so menu bar means when a horizontal menu that appears on a top of a window you can see in the figure there are multiple options file edit view insert format and help and these options are kept as per their preference right so help option is kept in the last so that that's why help has the less important rather than format so file has most significant for user so file put it first then edit then view then insert then format so these are the various advantages of menu bar right always visible that provides flexibility for the user they can see the various menus available in the front line that is always visible they can click any any options as per their requirement right a little bit some disadvantages are there he is occupying the space all the time right now in the menu bar a primary window must have a menu bar some do's and don't for menu bar all menu bars must have an associated pull down menu when you click on the file there should be various sub options must be there in the form of pull down and uh, do not allow the user turn off the display of the menu bar right locate at the top of the screen just below the screen title that the most visible part of the screen is top most of the screen so your menu bar should be always in the top of the screen and order the choices from left to right most important and most frequent used choices must be on the left and you should go towards right as per the decreasing frequently choices or decreasing importance of the options right next is pull down menu pull down menu means when you click in a particular menu there there is a, some particular options related to that particular main option are listed in the downwards so that's called pull down menu right a small number of items should be there item best represented textually item whose content rarely changes that should be placed in the form of pull down menus no windows is space is consumed when you required pull down menus you click on the particular menu there will be drop down menu opens and whenever you not required they will be the shrink with the main particular options so this is the main advantage and uh, disadvantage is required searching and selecting you have to have knowledge about that particular drop down menus that pull down menus that where is the pull down menu what happens when you click on the file what happens when the click on the view so you have to have previous knowledge yeah yeah prehand knowledge about the particular menus right gray down gray out the dim items that are not going to allow the user to use the particular options and the restrict no more than 5 to 10 choices in pull down menus this is the some common do's and don'ts for the pull down menus and this uh, now we are discussing on the next category of the menus this is cascading menus when multiple options are needed then we we 
design a menu such a way that when you click on a particular menu option then another similar kind of menu window will be open right that's called cascading menu okay advantages are the cascading menus are top levels of menus are simplified because some choices are hidden so you have to see less information when you click on the particular option then you expanded step by step for the uh, next information right disadvantages of the cascading menu are access to sub menu items require more steps you have multiple clicks to reach a particular option access to sub menu item required change in pointer moment right place an arrow or right pointer triangle to the right of each menu to display cascade menu leave the choices leading to the cascading menu highlighted right and you may press enter that after that do not exceed three menus level this is the suggestion if you design a cascade menu you do not exceed more than three menu labels these these are the guidelines if you if you increase multiple labels then users may get confused now uh, we come to the next uh, category of menu pop up menus in pop up menus when you click on the screen right you suppose you or choices may be also present alternatively or choices within the context of the task right suppose you are uh, typing in the form you may right click on the particular box then the this kind of as as you can see in the figure pop up menu will be displayed you can choose particular options copy paste and uh, you ease your life with the help of pop up menus some advantages and disadvantages are also for the pop up menus right they appear in the working area sometimes they may create uh, di visual difficulty and uh, may may create uh, occupying the screen working area then user may get irritated the existence this some disadvantages are there the existence must be learned and remembered you must have to have knowledge of the these particular pop up menus that what is the meaning of that particular meaning what is the cause of that particular menus what is the purpose of that particular menus right so you must have to knowledge about that now we come to the next category of menus that are the iconic menus used to remind user of the functions command application choices we use some sim symbols create icons that helps enhance recognizing the has an option selecting meaningful and clearly represent choices suppose for my computer we are using a computer that when we see the symbol we know that for what that particular icon is given to us we understand that we have the whole whole structure of the computer within this icon right similarly you can see you, you use the specific icon for the bluetooth you can use a specific icon for the wifi symbol you use the particular symbol for a mobile device you use a particular uh, symbol for a network so these kind of menus are called iconic menus thank you